So on the injury front, looks like Travis Volkolek has a chance to be back, which would be beneficial to blocking guys like Perion Winfrey and Nick Benito on Oklahoma's defensive line this weekend. Uh, also, Oliver Martin could possibly be back. That's Matt Lubick talking after practice today. Uh, Andy Kendi, Tom Chattel, Robin Washett all chime in on what's ahead for Nebraska as we roll till two. But uh, first here is uh, Bart. Bart, thanks for the phone call. Welcome to the show on The Zone. Good show. I enjoy the show. Thank you, sir. Anything you just, everything you just said about Clay Hilton, honestly, it's possible. You, could you, do you think you put Scott Frost's name in there just to substitute it? Absolutely. Honestly, this I, weekend, I mean, I'm a Hawkeye fan, so but I don't hate Nebraska. I personally think this weekend is going to be the start of the beginning of the end of his tenure at, uh, at Nebraska. I mean, it's, if he loses big this weekend, that could just affect him the whole season. Like, I think Ohio State beat him like 50 about a year or two ago. And they never bounce back. And if they go in there and get down to this weekend, I think uh, your Cornhuskers could be on the same boat. But I do not think they'll fire him until the end of the year if that's what happens. If this is kind of a chain reaction, he end up, say, 3 and 8 or 2 and 9, or it could be. Uh, it's, it's Bart, it's a definite fear. Um, but I, I, that's, that's where Trev has he asked the question is Scott his solution or is his problem? And, right. and you know, that's, that can. That can take a little bit, or it can be answered right away. And you know, there probably be some. Who, who would Trev's guy be? I mean, you know, he he did coach it. I mean, he was an idiot at UNO here, but does he have a coach just in waiting, hypothetically? I or anything, but you never know. I mean, yeah, I, it's, I, it's 2021, I, so who knows? You know, yeah, I would doubt it. Bart, thanks for the phone call. Yeah, this is so. There's an element. I mean, you're not fooling anybody that Nebraska is a 22 and a half point underdog. To pull off an upset and catch Oklahoma with their typical 11 a.m. sleepy time and games that they've lost that have started at 11, you're going to have to hit them early. And you're going to, first of all, before you ever start the game, you're going to have to believe that you can win the football game. But here is one thing that if you're using the, is our current head football coach the solution or is it the problem? And he's the solution because he's corrected some things that have ailed this program that I can see. I look back. Bart just referenced that game, 2019. Nebraska lost. Uh, they, they got hammered 48-7. to seven. It was 38 nothing before you knew it. Now, 2018, Nebraska was up 21-16 in Columbus at halftime. But there have been other games, Colorado in 19. The first sign of trouble, what typically has happened around here? First sign of trouble, what typically happens? Things cave in, and you can't find your way out. Well, in 2018, when Nebraska was up 21-16, Dobbins scores, it's 23-21 Ohio State. Ohio State scores again, they're up 30-21. to uh, I think Pickering hit a field goal, 30-24. Uh, to and then there was Ohio State scored. They, I think they tried a two-point conversion, run failed. You know, it ended up 36-31. So Nebraska didn't let that game cave in on them when the first sign of trouble. Look what happened in Boulder. First sign of trouble, big lead. Here comes Colorado. It caved in. Next thing you know, that game should have never gone to overtime in Boulder in 2019. It did. First sign of trouble against Ohio State a couple of years ago. Uh-oh. It got worse and worse and worse. Now, there have been a couple of other games where the first sign of trouble, Nebraska has responded well, and it hasn't caved in. That's something huge to watch on Saturday because Oklahoma's going to stress them just like that 2019 Ohio State team did. Speed on the edges, speed with linemen, speed with linebackers, speed with wide receivers, running backs, quarterbacks, assistant coaches that have speed. So they're going to stress you. And that first sign of trouble, what happens? Do you have an answer, a play, or a player? Or do things typically, when the first sign of trouble, do things cave in? That's a big, big test this weekend to watch. Is what do you do when you have trouble? Do you punch back? Or do you go, oh boy, 
This isn't going according to plan. Watch that this weekend. And then you start asking, solution or problem? Hey, Nebraska's not the only place. USC's not the only place. A lot of a lot of people around the country with their football coach, they're doing it at LSU. They're saying, is Ed Orgeron the solution or the problem? Mike Bond did that yesterday at SC. Is Clay Helton our solution or our problem? You want your coach to be the solution. The athletic directors want their football coach to be the solution, but when they become the problem, then you have to move on. We'll move on to Andy Kendi. He's coming up next.